Now to the investigation into the shooting that injured two teenagers. The violence played out last night in North Philadelphia. When all was said and done, the teen was shot more than a dozen times. And tonight we're hearing from the victim's mother. Action News reporter Christy Leto is live at Temple University Hospital where he is being treated. Christy. That's right, Rick. She says it's a miracle that he su survived. Apparently, he'd been playing basketball with friends before his family says he was ambushed. And as police look for a motive, his mother wants to know why. I was in disbelief. Everything from the waist down was covered in blood. A mother fearing her family's safety speaks from the shadows. Police say her 15 year old son, who she identified as Raheem, was shot more than a dozen times. 11th and Harper crime scene Monday night. Raheem had apparently played basketball with friends before stopping to grab a bite nearby. As they exit the store, the guy came from around the corner and I guess they start shooting. My son said all he remember is falling and wasn't able to get back up. Raheem rushed to Temple University Hospital. His friend Jefferson. Detectives say the victims don't have a criminal history and aren't from the neighborhood and are trying to figure out why a gunman would unleash that kind of firepower on two teens. He's a wonderful kid. He's not inclined to the streets, nor hang with people that's in the streets. So that's what that's what made it so shocking when I read his name and it was him as a victim. His mentor, Warren Upchurch, says this week Raheem was supposed to take part in a career development program with nonprofit New Options More Opportunities, a stop the violence initiative he's been part of for two years. We're an early initiative intervention prevention program that's designed to stop stuff like this from happening. Every time we take these type of hits, it hurts. Data shows shootings are up 24% since the start of the year. Raheem now part of a growing statistic. What do you have to say to the shooters? Just stop. It's, it's senseless. My son don't have no parts of that type stuff. I don't really understand what happened. Yeah, Raheem is very lucky to be alive tonight. That gunman is still on the loose and anyone with information about this incident is asked to contact Central Detectives.